All right, time for some more Baldur's Gate 3. So this is where I left off last time. I was in the well. Right, let's go, you guys. some spiders.
What's the difference between picking a poor Shadow Heart? What did she do? that. I mean, I told you to move, not uh, waste an era or a bolt or whatever. We can actually cut the web. Well, I guess we can.
in some of these ink clutches here. DR. Let it be known that I left my homeland because I was bound to my master, and not because I chose to. Were it not for the oath I swore, I would still be home serving the Zulkers and not tending the hogpox in this crude hamlet. However, an oath is an oath, and I will serve him, as is my duty, until I am released. The early journal entries are written in a delicate, intricate script that gets rougher and wilder the more pages you turn. It ends with one hastily scrawled entry. They did it. The dark Justicars got the old bastard before the Zulks could. Now he's bleeding out, and once he's gone, I'll be free of his oath. I can go back. I'll return the Tome of Necromancy he stole. They'll forgive me, then. They'll know I'm loyal. The key gem's secure in the tunnels. Once I have it, I'll... Slip into the cellar, take what I can carry, and then... Home. Hmm... Search the cellar, huh? We got something magical here. Hmm, an illusion. It's an illusion of some kind. I don't think I can, uh... I wonder if I can... Okay, Shadow Heart, let's see if we can knock it down with your uh, mace. Oh, well, keep it up. easier. Nice going. Well, look at this. Okay, so it doesn't have any... Alright. We're getting somewhere.
he can equip a short sword instead of using a knife. Yes, he can. Okay, so that might be of use. Come on, you guys. Oh, I should have seen that coming. Eclipse Blueprints. Precise arcs and neatly drawn lines from the blueprints of three weapons. A great sword, a sickle, and a dagger. Each length and angle is marked with exact measurements, and forging instructions are printed carefully along the bottom of the page. Emphasizing an unusual ingredient, susser bark. The susser bark can only be applied to an ordinary, unmodified blade. Oh, don't worry about... We'll cross paths when we get there, but for right now, let's just focus on the uh, task at hand. Your first roll, East Volume 6. I must say, for a place with so many orcs and goblins, Thesk is a remarkably pleasant land, a true melting pot where all are accepted and quite a lot seems to be permitted. Alas, the crew I sailed here with were imprisoned by the harbor master, but I was soon on the road known as the Golden Way, and it lives up to its name. The wealth of a continent marches along this road. Furs from Neverwinter and iron from Nashgill flow in one direction, while silks and jewels flow the other. I have heard so many stories of the world. The Golden Way passes through Rashomon, through the wastes of the Horde Lands and on to the continent of Karatur, a land of empires, dragons, and beasts I've never dreamt of. I am so close to Rashomon that what was once my dream not sounds so mundane. Last night I made camp and was joined by a charming fellow. I told him of my dream in seeing Rashomon, and he laughed. He claims that Rashomon is nothing compared to they, and invited me to visit the court of the Zul Zulkers. It seemed rude to turn down such an illustrious invitation, so I will see what this they has to offer. Then Rashomon and beyond. Interesting read. Uh, not yet. We're not done yet. Nope. Now that I think about it here, I'm running out of space here. Come on, you guys. A shabby door. Let's see what we got in here. Space here, so you. Trap this arm toolkit. Yeah. Deal the shocking truth. Ah, that's much better. All right, let's uh, let's get out of here.
You know, for something that's called difficulty 10 here. There we go, third time was the charm. And we're back. All right. I'm sure this would be a good time to head back to camp. Rest up. Bloody hells. Literally. Just when I think I've got a grasp on our dilemma, a devil shows up. No matter. We've dealt with every other oddity thrown at us lately. We can handle this one too. Now, as for this Raphael, he knows our secret. He claims he can help. What do you make of him? No doubts at all. He seemed powerful and very knowledgeable about our problem. Not the worst prospect we've stumbled across. As long as you can look past what he is. I've made you doubt yourself. Sorry, not what I intended. Let's take time to think about it. Some food and rest. Things will be clear then. Hmm. Or is it? Suddenly I'm not so sure. Isn't it terrible when someone causes you to doubt yourself? I'm gonna save this here because I'm not gonna screw this up again. This was, and that was a good idea to save, too, here. Anticipation. Anticipation. She is testing you somehow testing about Raphael. About Raphael. Actually, yes, you're right. Very intuitive. Clearly, the devil was trying to sow doubt among us. I know people who work much like our new acquaintance does. You don't need a scourge or a rack to break people. Fear and self-doubt are sufficient. When actual pain comes, the victim's already done the heavy lifting for their torturer. There were no right answers with that devil. He was toying with his food. Us. Perhaps you didn't. See? Sowing doubt is an old trick. Watch out for it. And for Raphael. Fine. What's on your mind? We should probably get some uh, talks about uh, this Asterian character. <laughs> now there's a bloody devil trailing after us. Well, this gets better and better. Shop around, he said. He seems sure we'll find him. And he might be right. We've had no luck so far. Maybe. But all that take your time, I'll wait nonsense. He's playing with us. He reminds me of well, someone I used to know. Someone who liked to play with people. Creatures like them don't play games unless they know they can win. keep hunting for answers. What other choice do we have? This is no ordinary mind flare parasite. Who tampered with it and why? What do they have planned for us? And why are we important enough that a devil comes knocking on our door? If we find those answers, we might have a chance. Let's see what she has to say. Devil Raphael flaunts his paltry wings as 
if he wants to impress us. You saw the red dragon slaying his infernal kin above hell's fires, did you not? Next to a dragon, the devil's a gnat. When I am Kithrak, I will take my queen Vlakith, his head as a trophy. Githyanki knights, the riders that chase the Nautiloid. They are the commissars and enforcers of my queen Vlakith's will. Vlakith bestows no greater honor. To wield a Kithrak silver sword is my destiny. I will earn my queen's favor, and I will conquer every layer of hell should she command it. The Geich are my kind's mortal enemy. It is not unusual for the Kithrak to give chase, to penetrate the hells. This is unusual. But I'm not one to question the wisdom of my queen. I can see but the horizon. Blackhead's sight pierces the many planes. Hmm. Seems like everyone's unsure. The goblins still infest the roads. As long as their leaders live, Zevlor's people are trapped. It brings to mind a story. The devil with the silver tongue. An old fairy tale my father read to me. The kind with a hero, a villain, and a moral. A farmer made a deal with the devil, so the story goes. In exchange for the farmer's dearest fruit, the devil granted him a bottomless coin purse. The farmer's dearest fruit, naturally, was no apple nor peach, but his beloved daughter. We can learn a lot from fairy tales, don't you think? Refuse him, no matter how tempting the offer, no matter how delicious the feast he lays out for you, the cost will be too great. That's because you still have hope. But when he becomes your last hope, remember this. He'll require of you only what you're least ready to part with, and then require more still. You might think you give up anything for a cure, but the devil won't take just anything. He'll take everything. A most vicious one, in fact. It's made from pure bloodstone, carved from the Galena Mountains just north of the Moon Sea. A reminder that sometimes blood must be shed and sacrifices must be made. Ah. But that story is reserved for lifetime friends in calmer days. Let's see what Gail has to say. Spare me a moment, if you please. I've something important to discuss with you. We've been traveling together for a while now, and it's just about time that I've shared something with you. It's a rather personal to keep quiet, but needs must when the devil drives. I have no choice but to speak. You see, I have this condition. Very different from the parasite we share, but just as deadly. The specifics are rather personal, but suffice it to say that it is a malady I've learned to live with. And not without some effort. What it comes down to is this. Every so often, I need to get my hands on a powerful, magical item and absorb the weave inside. I can say no more on the matter. Not now, anyway. Just trust me when I say it's all of vital importance. It's been days since I last consumed an artifact. Since before we were abducted. It's time. And by that, I mean it's imperative. I find and consume strands of weave at the earliest possible juncture. You've already done the finding. In fact, you have one in your possession. You know for yourself how hard one such an item was, and it will be no easier when even more are required to assuage my hunger. There'll be danger involved, or great cost.
Splendid. Bit of boldness will serve us well. As luck would have it, you're already primed to give me exactly what I need. I'm not conveying the urgency of the situation. It's incredibly, world-shatteringly important you give me a suitable artifact. That's a good thing I say, so... Alright. That's a good thing I say before I did all this, so... We're gonna try to persuade him. It, you're already primed to give me exactly what I need. Of course. I hate for you to think me impatient or ungrateful. I shall persevere for now. Perfect. All right. I think I'm gonna take Will with me. The devil with the silver and oh, a farmer, a farmer. We can learn a lot from fairy tales, don't you think? Refuse him, no matter how temptingly. That's because you still he'll require of you, and then report. That actually never popped up the first time I did this. But the devil. Will. The blade of frontiers at your calling. Carnac's fires raged in Baldur's Gate before she escaped to Avernus, as my source told it. And she was planning to return. One of the Archdevil's Ariel's own. Chaos incarnate, a devil with pure fire for a heart. I made my way to Avernus to stop her. She fled from my reach, even climbed aboard the Mind Flayer ship as it screeched through the hells. I followed in close pursuit. I can't bear to imagine the lives Karlak might be taking, the damage she might be doing. A powerful friend with a keen interest in privacy. I'm sworn to say no more. All right. What else is on your mind? Make some room. Hello. Well, anyways, well. Sleep well, flitting between dreams and nightmares. Maybe you wake up. Maybe you wake up because you know something is wrong, or maybe you just get lucky. You just get lucky. Shoot. No, no, it's not what it looks like. I swear. I, I wasn't going to hurt you. I, I just needed. He's a vampire. I knew it. Blood. There, in dim firelight, you see him for what he really is, a vampire, a slave to sanguine a hunger. A slave to sanguine hunger. It's not what you think. I'm not some monster. I feed on animals. Boars, deer, kobolds, whatever I can get. I'm just too slow right now. Too weak. If I just had a little blood, I could think clearer. Fight better. Please. The stranger. 
sensation. A strange sensation courses through you, and your companion's mind unfolds. Companion's secrets half revealed. Save it here. Okay, that was not a critical success because I got a 19 out of it. One, or that last time I got a 20, that's a critical success, whereas a one is a critical failure. I, what's this? What's happening? Something stirs. Something stirs deep within you, hungry and alert. <laughs> it's taking alert. something you'll never get back. It's taking something you'll never get back. His mind opens His up. His mind opens up, revealing cracked and quivering memories. Quivering At their heart, memories. you see dark eyes commanding you to feed. At heart, you see dark eyes commanding you to feed. You open your mouth and bite down. You open your mouth and bite down, down not into a tender neck, but into the twisting body of a rat. The only thing your master lets you eat. Yes. Yes, I ate whatever disgusting vermin my master picked. So you can see why I'm slow to trust you. But I do trust you. And you can trust me. Because we don't have a choice. Not if we're going to save ourselves from these worms. I need you alive. You need me strong. Please. Only be a taste, I swear. I'll be well, you'll be fine. And everything can go back to normal. No. No, of course. Silly of me to even ask. I'll go and find something on four legs to eat, I suppose. See you in the morning. You watch him storm you watch. away. You watch him sock away, slunk, sucking, and ready, to, ready kill. to kill. So there's more to him than meets the eye. All right, we're all west. We're all rested up. Oh, that feels good. Now we gotta speak to him again. Morning. I hope last night's little unpleasantness hasn't left a bad taste in your. Well, <laughs> I hope there are no bad feelings. And you're lucky I'm not a true vampire. Last night could have gone very differently if I'd magically summoned a pack of wolves. Alas, I'm just a spawn. All of the hunger, few of the pounds. should be cinders in this light. I hadn't seen the sun for 200 years before we crashed here. Someone, or something, wants me alive. They've changed the rules. Standing in the sun, wading through a river, wandering into homes without an invitation. They're all perfectly mundane activities now. As for my other quirks, well, <laughs> we can figure those out in time. I wonder if there's a cure. That's my theory, but who knows? I'm just glad you're being sensible about these uh, revelations. I was worried people might turn up with torches and pitchforks. Although there's still time. A vampire? Well, that explains the pallor. Given our group's nature, I don't see much harm. We're each monsters in the making, after all. For his sake, he best not develop an appetite for Gith Yankee. He's not wrong. We're bound together, no matter what happens. Maybe we could get him to wear a bell, dissuade any nighttime prowl. There now. We're all friends again. I'm not a cow, Shall you know. Go? There's a long day ahead of us. 
All right, now we can leave. All right, so we're back here. Nice, huh? What did I? Oh, it's a melee attack. Hmm. Oh, this is a musical instrument. Unfortunately, I can't sing, so. Oh, it's only a single use. Alright, never mind. Let's keep going. Oh, there's a book over there. An excerpt from the true and impossible adventures of Tenebrew Morrow. A pulp serial following the real life exploits of an interplanar ship's captain. The real Captain Morrow is known to have left her native water deep and emerges from her rooms at the yawning portal only to exchange scrawl manuscripts for fresh meals and ink. His red dragon thus dispatched, the knight had no choice but to leap for my ship, crashing to the new bride's deck even as his mount was swallowed by the eerie gloom of the astral plane's shifting tides. Faithful Norals was upon him instantaneously, clawing and biting, alas in vain. Astral projection thwarts even the freer of a text. Tab tabaxi cabin boy, and the treacherous Githyanki only laughed at Narl's formless blows passed harmlessly through him. The knight's silver sword came about in an arc that missed Narl's entity entirely, but neatly clipped the spiritual cord, anchoring the tabaxi stalwart soul to the plane. I mourned as my faithful feline companion faded from existence, but did not hesitate. The Githyanki only smirked lazily at my, chain, my charge, anticipating the futile efforts of another bound by the laws of this plane. But that is not had but that is not and has never been Captain Tenebrook Morrow. Unlike poor Norals, I had entered this plane in my full flesh form. A fact I demonstrated by thumping the warrior solidly between the legs. He tumbled over the new bride's rail and down into the mist, even as a fresh horde of dragons rose from the distant dead citadel to Narath. A warning from the Sword Coast. Oh, I think this is a reference to the other games. People of the Sword Coast, look around you. What do you see? A collection of God-fearing God -fearing humans, elves, and dwarves, or an infernal corruption of that divine image. Tieflings, wearing their devilish heritage for all to see, walk among us as if they didn't owe their existence and allegiance to the lords below. These hell's-touched peoples have infiltrated our cities, our organizations, even our families. They can claim to be good all they wish. Would you believe the tiger who looks at you with dripping fangs as if he said he ate nothing but vegetables? No. We can see their true nature, plain as day. But they are not the only evil infiltrating our world. All around I see Drow, Drugar, and other creatures of the Underdark strive for acceptance. But why should you accept them? When their brothers raid our country, and steal our children, obviously I am not saying they should be cast out. Obviously I am not saying we should return these delinquents to the Underdark and drive the tieflings back to the hells they came from. But beware of these people, my friends. Be suspicious when you see them, especially suspicious when you do not. Interesting. As far as the powerful artifact goes, can't add, add it to inventory. Well, we never wanted to add it to my inventory to begin with. Children. Who's Maggie missing Terrence. children? Maggie Terrence, Marcus Terrence, Methan Dealer, Rochelle Kirk. 
Man, let's be on our way. suspensions here. I'm not seeing any mergrass. Or I might have used them already. Another goblin camp. Hmm. seen that coming, but luckily for us here, we'll try this again. My very surprised perception failed. I could have disarmed the traps. Because I do have disarmed trap kits. I'm going to start putting these to use. Take two. Save. Let's see if we can do this again. Oh yeah. Piece of cake.
Critical success. Very nice. Very nice. Luckily for us, the, the uh, webs don't do damage, so we're good there. Oh, really? See ya.
Looks like you're not going for that alarm after all. Down for the count. So you're not getting that alarm after all. Nice job, team. And this should be an opportune time to save. I gotta go back to town so I'm gonna start selling some of these things here. I'll get going here. Swift as my feet can carry. Yeah, like I said, I really gotta get back to town here so I can start, uh... I guess I get some money. Let me get some gold. Save. 
Perfect. That trap is decommissioned. Well, at least I got to save that time, so yeah. So, Let's keep your hands to yourself. You'll be watched. Being watched. Yeah, good idea. This is irresistible. You recognize the overwhelming authority that you've used on others, only infinitely stronger, and turned against you. Your vision clouds, leaving you in a dark, futureless shadowscape. Nothingness in every direction. There. Then, there are three figures before you. An armored male elf, exuding power and command, a handsome younger man with a quick, easy smile, and a pale young woman with even paler eyes. Yeah, very descriptive of something that just looks like a bunch of shadows. Energy pulsing from the artifact, lifting the pain from you, pushing the voice away. Utmost secrecy. 
we all submitted to having our memories suppressed so that we couldn't betray Shah's confidence. If I reach my contact in the city, I'll have my memories restored. Until then, I have to guard the artifact with my life. There. You have the truth. For all it's worth. Let's continue. Heavens forbid. We're all entitled to our secrets. Artifact indeed to have caught the attention of so many, not least the absolute itself. The absolute itself. Three figures in the vision. The These the three figures in the vision the chosen are searching for. The cultists cult say it will not be long before they find it, before they find you. Before they find you. You have evaded them. You have evaded them so far. Thanks, it seems, to the artifact itself. But how long can such protection last? How long can such protection last? Shadow Heart. Shadow Heart has made her position clear. She will see that it is taken to its destination at any cost. No doubt that Yetianki will seek to reclaim what which is theirs, and you still do not know what it is, what it even is. For now, but any crimes against my kin will be answered for in time. I just saved you. Keep that in mind next time you want to air your grievances. Yes, how observant of you. Oh, oh, oh. You look like you got something jingling in your pocket. Looking to spend it. Nicked him off the dead, didn't I? Yeah, because I have a lot here to sell. This would be great for a uh, Asterian. I think I'll take the longbow by myself. You can have that. Gotta keep the torches though. These though. I'll take these. Or do you have a shovel?
wonder if you can equip this. Oof, that's expensive. I was going to get him the Gloves of Archer, but it looks like, uh... What? Okay. He's got 126 of value here. Um... Okay, let's reset the offer here. Wait, this guy again? With fabulous crown and with scepter of braid, draw Rexlin, short work of the innkeeper made. The inn burnt to ash, the captives were many, goblet kind had reduced them to cowering for penny. So raise in your goblets and drain them with pride. Draw Ragslin, the true soul, had led you to land. <laughs> Come on, you turnip! Huh. What's it? No! Excuse me! <clears throat> draw Ragslin! Draw Ragslin! Um, uh, um, uh, I am. He's getting stage fright. Mm. 
Hmm. Yeah, let's not piss off the big guy here. Oh, I found a waypoint. Nice. Agent Sigil Circle. Very nice. leaders. Forces through you, another authority. Authority. Save it here. Is really suddenly as if bitten. Enjoy the pie, boss. So the tadpole gives us the ability to influence others. Ignore it. Deny it. This is nothing but a disease, and every use will sicken us further. T nonsense. Any power freely given is a power well received, and this is a valuable power indeed. It's only valuable if we understand it, and we don't. Not yet, at least. Sensible. How oh, I wish I could, but I'm not that great of a dancer. That's further up north.
enjoy poking holes in people, do ya? <laughs> He's inside. Keep to the right and follow the screams. <laughs> Interesting. Thanks for sharing that with us. Get me to out of the poem. Load of nonsense in it. Save here. He says, "Keep to the right and follow the screams." Oi! Ain't no part in here. We're doing the absolutes work. The mark glows. The mark glows. But you feel nothing. You, but you feel nothing but in response. Your illithy really powers are beyond reach until you rest. Until you rest. You know what? Save it here one more time. Try this again. I'd do anything just to persuade uh, others, but except I think we're gonna try the other one here. The deception. I don't think it's gonna win me any uh, noise. I said it's a good thing I saved. The mark glows, but you feel nothing in response. Your illithid power is beyond reach until you rest. Oh, for the love of God. I don't know what it is here, but, uh... <sighs> Before, we're gonna do we're gonna keep trying until I get it because I hear if you fight these guys you're in for a long battle intentional here, you know? I think this is intentional. Not because it's difficult, but because, uh, maybe they don't want you to, uh, do this sort of thing. Well, heck if I know. The mark glows, but you feel nothing in response. Your illicit power is beyond reach until you rest. That's better. Hmm. <laughs> All 
audience is right. She's an uppity one and no mistake, but she knows her business. She's in telling the war chiefs what's what. Next raid's gonna be a big one, I hear. He's inspired. It seems like, uh, Asarian is actually, a. Uh... Alright, I'll save it here. Saluna. As if mingling with a horde of goblins wasn't bad enough. Let's do what we have to do, then get out of here. Good. I wasn't intending to. Aren't we mouthy? First and three of like leaders. Now here's somebody special. The absolute has touched you, hasn't she? Priestess Gut needs to touch you too. Hold out your arm so I can mark your flesh. Recognize one another, quick, sharp. That way, nobody'll mess with you. And it's charged with magic. Ordinary slots can't see it. Only us that follow the absolute. You ready? Brace yourself. This'll sting. On second thought, here. Uh... On second thought, I'm not going to bother. So I wonder how tough these three goblin leaders are. with hers. A familiar sensation. She too carries a parasite. She too carries a parasite. Darkness, Darkness seems to swallow the temple, leaving you with a vision of the vision goblin priestess, receiving instruction from a handsome young man, one of the chosen. From a handsome young man, one of the chosen. The vision dissolves. The vision dissolves away. You stand before the goblin priestess in the temple once again. Her faith floods into you, a tide of shuddering ecstasy. Her temple nestles within a that mania secure in. Where'd you go? Oh, great, I lost sight of her. Oh, she's over there. Okay. Come 
ability to clear your head. Whatever the absolute tells me to. Don't worry, she loves you. I can tell. Really now? The absolute will protect me. Is that so? Although I would be curious to see if, uh... And she's a level 4, too. That could be another problem. Ugh. So, Lou, let's do what we have to do. Good. Your oath of power is beyond reach until you rest. Another speech check.
to do just that. A trusty invisibility potion goes a long way in a place like this. We mustn't tarry, but I hate for our friendship to end here. Please, won't you meet me once we've both slipped the goblin yoke? Why, by design, my friend. How better to learn the ways of a people than to live among them? I dare say the experiment has proven most fruitful, too. I'd be happy to share my findings. Once we've found somewhere safe to party. Smashing! Soon, my friend. Soon we can share the flagon of something liquid and a tale of daring do. I'll slip away when the coast is clear. See you soon, my friend. I simply can't wait to pick your brain! That takes care of that. Jingle of coin, I hear. You've kind of already turned quite the profit today, so I'm feeling generous. You recognize the crest she bears. You recognize the crest she bears. The, the winged serpent of Zen Theratim. Half bright, sharp eyes. A Zen is a normal trader, just a matter of what's for sale. Weapons and other exotic goods, true enough. But most of all, we offer discretion. No judgment, no right and wrong, just good deals and bad. That a problem for you? You joking? Goblins sell the best prisoners. Cheap, quiet, and eager to be elsewhere. Till this crowd converted and started sending their captives to Moonrise Towers, at least. No complaints, Mike. I just sold enough smoke powder to cover the loss ten times over.
point wow, this stuff is so expensive. Get this done and over with. Ready to clear your head. Whatever the absolute tells me to. Don't worry, she loves you. I can tell. How much she is? Want a crowd of gawpers? Everybody else needs to leave. Ready to clear your head. Watch it. She's got chest trauma now. Maybe we can actually skip this.
So that's the alarm. too. Down for the count. You know what we could do is we can actually stall for time. This was so easy. How much damage did I do to him? I missed. One boss down, two to go.
See if there's anything else of use here. Agreed. Agreed. Uh, do you mind moving out of the way? Thanks. Step is to drink their blood. Mm. Once you've done that, you're free. You're the true vampire. People think the biggest threat to a vampire is a cleric with a stick. It's not. The biggest threat to a vampire is another vampire. They're scheming, paranoid, power hungry beasts. So why would any vampire give up control over a sport? To create a competitor. Trust me, it doesn't happen. I guess not. Um, guys? I need you here. into a mind flare. As there's not a tentacle on your head, I can only assume you haven't been infected. If what you say were true, you'd be a mind flare by now. You! A 
infected by a mine. They're yeah, ridiculous. Isn't it? Perhaps that's for the best. I'd be irresponsible not to debunk such a strange claim. However, give me a bit of time, and I'll have this little issue sorted. Well, I've decided to remain in your camp. Having such a learned scholar nearby might be useful. Blazer of Benevolence. Er, uh, interesting, to say the least. Okay, so why is my party not with me? He said I'll give him a little bit of time. Speaking of which, what's through here? Oh, are there more people here? Oh, it's just a magic mirror. Well, actually, we're just gonna. Heavy moisture drips down moisture your forehead. Pain shoots through your fingers. Pain shoots through your fingers. Your hands shake. Your hands shake as they reach upward. upward. Your forehead remains your drenched, no matter how much you wipe. No matter how much you wipe. Sense a touch of uncertainty, a touch of disgust. A touch of disgust. Actually, actually, this is where I'm going to stop it for now.